I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Psychology, and then I'm also the Director of Career Services, I deal with students. I'm sorry that, that uh, there is nothing that can stop a, posi a person with a positive mind from achieving whatever they set out to do. Are we together? Yes. Somebody with a positive attitude will never be stopped by any circumstance to become that which they want. Reason being that positivity generates an inner drive, an inner desire for you to persevere through all the challenges, all the obstacles until you become that which you desire. I looked at the results of KCSE last year. There were 10 students who failed KCP. The newspaper, The Daily Nation of May the 11th, 2021, had a subtopic that was saying, uh, KCP flops that gained university entry grades. We had two girls, one from Northeastern, another from uh, Masailan. One scored 137 marks out of 500. Another one only 147, but they ended up getting C+, plus, and they joined university. The remaining eight students scored between 153 up to 199, and they all scored a B-. minus. So then I realized that the issues of passing is not because you have a low IQ, is not because you, had, you scored low in KCPE. It is an issue of your mindset. Have you developed a mindset that knows that you can work and change your yesterday? Or do you think that your yesterday will affect your today? A Chinese philosopher by the name Lao Tzu says, don't look back in anger, neither ahead in fear, but just look around in awareness that God has given you the potentials and the capacity to succeed the way you desire. So I want you not to focus on your KCP marks. What I want you to tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor you are not stupid. You don't have a low IQ. Are we together? Yeah, be serious. I'm serious with what I'm saying. So repeat and tell neighbor you are not stupid. You are not stupid. Neither do you have a low intelligence. Neither do you have a low intelligence. You can succeed. You can succeed with anything you want to achieve. With anything you want to achieve. As long as you have a positive mindset. As long as you have a positive mindset. Bill Gates says, to be born poor is bad luck. But to die poor is your choice. Are we together? Yes. So I want you to understand in this life that many of us are born from families that we struggle. You hardly may afford a meal. Sometimes you go home and you are struggling to eat. That does not mean that you have to die poor as your parents are. As a matter of fact, you are supposed to work very hard and even improve their standards. You tell your mother, yes, mom, yes, daddy, I know you are struggling, but I want to work very hard until one time I support you to come up. So being born poor is not tragic, but dying poor is a tragedy because you have not... The mind is the biggest weapon that anybody has for us. Your world is the way it is today because of how you are thinking. The moment you reprogram your thinking, and begin looking at yourself as successful, and begin talking like a successful person, and begin working like a successful person, we are going to get to the university. I have slept without a blanket, using my father's overall jacket that he goes on with the manager. I slept flat like a lizard on a gunia. So if I looked back the history that I came from, I would not have dared abroad, ahead. But I told myself to be born poor is bad luck. But to die poor will be my choice. The strongest muscle that can change the life of a human being 
is just your mind. Whatever you conceive in your mind, the more you expand your mind, the more your life and your dreams expand. <coughs> and the more you think narrowly, is the more your life becomes narrow. You are not born to fail until you accept the failure in your mind. Despite that poor background, I have traveled in five on all continents except Australia that I've started working on some program to visit. Are we together? I never went to a boarding school. My school is called St. Matthias in Busia town. I'm mixed day schoolers like this one. So I know what poverty is. I know what struggles are until relatives denied visiting us. Who would bother coming to visit people who have nothing? But today, they all struggle to get our number. Don't despise your humble beginning. Don't despise the opportunity that you have. Read as if your entire life depends on the book and the pen. You will never regret. Education makes the son of a toilet digger to marry the daughter of a minister. Ask a young man, come to the university, after I'm standing on a ziri, oh, who you? Stupid and the inter-terrorizing maids in the neighborhood. You'll be stupid. And my girls again don't also die for the border borders because of a packet of chips. <laughs> <laughs> Great your dreams. Are we together? Yes. A man can do just anything he desires to do. There is nothing that can limit your dreams to the world except your own limitation in the mind. And that's why I've come to talk to you about positivity. It is the mind that makes people slaves and it is the mind that makes people to become conquerors of their destinies. Change your mind and be people who are, are proud of who they are. What is giving me joy is that you guys are smart. And I'm sincere about it. Are we together? I'm honest. You are smart in a smart school. So what we need to do is to retool our thinking. Make our minds to be our strongest muscle that will help us to change our family. There is nothing as strong as your own resolution to succeed. If you resolve today, that you want to change your grades, tomorrow they will change. Of course, I'm a, I'm a mentor of other schools like Absabet Boys, number one in the country, St. Bridget's, which was number seven in the, in the, in the country, French School Kamsinga, number 13 in the country. I, I met a many schools. It's only that I've never been to here, but today I've found a chance to be here. And what I want to tell you, I repeat again, you are not stupid. Tell your neighbor, you are not stupid. <laughs> Tell them you don't have a low IQ. You, don't have a low IQ. you can make it. You can make it. Plan your success. Plan your success. <laughs> Work for your success. Work for your success. And when you change your mind, you have changed your destiny. You have changed your world. That's why the Bible says, in Proverbs 23, verse 7, section A, as a man thinks, so is he. So when you think yourself foolish, timid, mediocre, and a failure, you fail successfully. But when you change your mind and tell yourself what others have done, I also can do, you will find yourself changing. There's no better career than another one. Are we together? Yes. Success is being the best that God created you to be. Doing that which you can do in the best way. And that's why we have a man called Jenga Karume. He wrote a book from charcoal to gold. 
What did he do? Aliuza Maka. He was supposed to go to Mangu High School during the colonial time. Alpita Mtiani was class 7. He was to go to Man Mangu High School, but he didn't have money. Maximum joy and true happiness only happens to a man or a woman who has found a career they love best. When you find something you are passionate in doing, when you find something you are happy to do, you will not even grow old and you will be very productive, you will be very creative. But however much you are paid, but you are doing something you don't like, you will be stressed, you will, some people even get struck or depression. So that's why I'm saying, examine your interest. Are we together? Yes. Examine your passion. What do you think if you did, you will be happy?